to Fashion Sewing Blog TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and in this video tutorial I'm going to give you a basic introduction to interfacings. Interfacing comes in three colourways, shades of grey, shades of white and shades of black. There are three categories of interfacing, there's woven, non-woven and knitted. I'm going to start with the knitted interfacing and as you expect it's going to stretch both ways and the greatest clue that you can tell that you're handling knitted fabric is the cut edge here when you pull it starts to curl and knitted usually means it is fusible. The next type of interfacing is the non-woven which means there's no grain line so you can put your sewing patterns in any direction we have the press on which is, means it's fusible and we have the sewing. Now with the fusible or press on interfacing one side is matte and the opposite side is the adhesive which makes it fusible. There's a glue on that side. The next one which is the sewing means it is matte on both sides. Our third interfacing is a woven. This is a press on and this is a sew in. Now with a press on, it means it's fusible. It's a plain weave and you can tell because there is a selvage. And on the opposite side, there is a shiny side, which means it's glue. Now for the next, which is a sew in, it's matte on both sides. So that's a right and that's a wrong. Interfacing comes in varying weights. There is light, medium and heavy and also in between weights such as light to medium and so on. The areas in which you apply interfacing are collars, facing, pockets, cuffs etc. Now do remember the three S's to interfacing. It stabilises your fabric, it shapes it and it supports it. Don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV for free weekly video tutorials and if you have any comments or queries please put them in the comment box below and I will see you next time.